I'm from Virginia, um, and Richmond's not too far from where I live at. So that's going to be in August. Um, let me see, August, let me look at my calendar here. Um, August 8th, and um, let's see, I'm on a computer right now, sorry. Uh, I know I'm rambling, I'm sorry. Uh, well, yeah, why, why um organization. Um, I'll read it to you. 11th Annual Coming Together Festival to be held in Richmond. Coming Together, the link and legacy of Native American and African Americans will be held at 1 p.m. on Saturday, August the 8th, rain or shine. There will be drumming, dancing, singing, discussion, and cultural information. The observance marks the 390th anniversary of the African settlement near the Wa sorry, Wayanak Indians in what is now Charles City County. This 11th annual free outdoor event sponsored by the Wanyanak Association, which I may join, will be held at the Powhatan, um, a Powhatan Community Center in Richmond. Um, they have a phone number, 804-307-8807 um, if you need more information. Um, the heritage of both indigenous North America and Africa will be celebrated, which gets branding points for me because that's what I'm all about. Um, the festival will include a procession, a brief opening ceremony, performances, and ample opportunity for informal learning and discussion. Chief Lynette Alston, she's a Nottaway Indian tribe of, of Virginia. Tom Big Warrior, he is a history keeper and chief traditionalist, United Eastern Lenape, sorry if I mispronounced that, nation. Uh, Dr. Arika Coleman, professor, University of Delaware, and the Red Black Acapella Vocal Ensemble. <laughs> wow! <laughs> ensemble Legacy of Wayanok will be among those participating. So I'm sorry if I just chopped that all up, but that's what I may end up doing this year. Um, so to get away from the powwow, which I'm disappointed that I wasn't able to attend today because I have a friend that dances out there. Um, this will be something that um, I could take away a lot of information and even start up new friendships with people like myself who, who believe that we shouldn't have to choose. We should be proud of our African and our indigenous Native American ancestors. Why do we have to continue to choose? Why do we have to be black today, Native American tomorrow? I don't understand that. So, yes, I am excited about our president and first family going to Ghana to represent Africa, the continent of many nations. But I'm also very proud of my Native American ancestry. That's who I am. And I will never choose one of the, over the other. And so, I'm going to leave you all with this, that regardless of what the DNA test results may say, um, I am who I am. And again, um, my mother's, mother's people, I don't know much about them. Um, but let me see, maybe I can show you a picture of my maternal grandmother um, real quick. Basically, the reason why I'm talking a lot about her because that's where that DNA test uh, is going to come from. It's going to come from her side of the family, not my, my not my maternal grandfather's side. That's where the African the roots are on my mother's side. So I'm not going to be able to get results from that. Um, let's see here. 
Again, I really, really, really apologize for just talking off the wall and rambling and mispronouncing words. <laughs> I, I do apologize for that. Um, but th I know this is not the best way to show pictures. But I'm going to show you a picture of... Um, her name was Dolly, Dolly Ann Smith. Um, I believe she married a Thompson. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can find the pictures. Okay. All right. 